And I never understood why it made me so uncomfortable. And to have that and then show how much it affected this partnership and how much it affected their mental health and like their ability to just go outside yeah. and on a date. Um, I thought it was so crucial to show how much it can affect and to show it to the perspective of a young man learning for the sake of being a better brother, a better son, and a better man. Okay. Isabella, once uh, people were able to see the show and see the storyline where Elena comes out a few years ago, um, what feedback from families and children who are dealing with it themselves have you gotten? Everybody's so excited. Everybody's so excited because it's a full layered story. It's not just a very special coming out episode. It's not just the, the one time we talk about it, it, it was a whole process. All of season one basically was dedicated to this coming out process and then from then on it became a whole thing. So people are so excited that it's layered. They're so excited that it wasn't sexualized. They're so excited that Elena still gets to be a kid. Um, I tell the people who are really excited about it, um, her coming out, not because she found somebody who she liked, but just because she was like, oh, I don't need to have somebody to realize that this is who I am. It feels like people keep talking about like a wave, and my problem with that um, is that waves go away, and we don't want it to be a wave. We want this to be the foundation when we keep building towards not only the representation on screen, but who are who are the people telling the stories behind the scenes. Um, and so I do feel like this is a really great time to um, be in the positions that we are, um, from the people on stage to the people out there who are content creators, um, because finally it feels like people are listening. Now, when it comes to like multiple intersections on screen, where you're having a person of color and then making them queer, and how do you tell that story but make it still accessible for um, like a, a bigger audience? How do you do that? That's making it, making sure it's universal. Yeah. Um, every story, um, you can try, you can make the effort. Not everyone succeeds, but you have to make the effort to make it universal. Um, not everyone has a story about coming out or um, accepting their queerness or whatever. Everyone has a story where they have to bear themselves. And that's what you have to find. You have to find that universal truth and convey it. And it doesn't matter where the, you know, what the story beats are. What matters are the emotional beats.